If you have understood algebra, then it, it forms the foundation for solving all this kind of trigonometric problems too. If you have a look, sine to the power of 6 has been given to you. I can write that as sine square theta whole cubed because that could be the other way I could represent. Similarly, cos to the power of 6 theta can be represented as cos square theta whole cubed. I'm sure you know the formula or you have seen the cube terms coming up somewhere. And if you look at the next term, 3 sine square theta cos square theta. So if my sine square theta, if I'll say that is A and cos square theta is B, then what do we have is we are simply doing A cubed plus B cubed plus 3 times, I'm saying sine square theta is A, so 3AB. There is one formula a q plus b q plus 3 a b times a plus b. I do not see this a plus b thing here. So I can manipulate or I can bring it here if I'll consider 3 a b times a plus b. So I must write sine square theta plus cos square theta. So now sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. That is the reason why the question must have ignored writing that part. That is how we'll manipulate. And by looking at each of the terms, I clearly see that it's in the form of a q plus b q plus 3 a b times a plus b. This is an expansion for a plus b the whole cube. In this question, I have a as sine square theta, b as cos square theta. So sine square theta plus cos square theta the whole cube. And now, interestingly, you know the value for sine square theta plus cos square theta, which is 1. So 1 cube is just 1. And hence, the final answer is just 1. That's it. It looked so complex initially, but this is how you get it.